In this video, I'll show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone over to your computer. This way is free and easy. So let me explain what you need to do. So first you want to go to your app store and then do a search here for Drive. Now we're going to be using Google Drive, so go ahead and download Google Drive. Once you've got it downloaded, you're probably already going to be logged into your Google account. So you'll sign in straight away. We can get this whole process done in minutes. So go ahead and click plus on the bottom right hand corner. Then what I would do is I would create a folder. So click create folder and just call it something like photos. I've already got a photos folder created as you can see here. Now once you've created your folder to actually access it, go to files in the bottom right hand corner. Then you'll see your photos folder. Click on it and if you've just created it, it will be empty. From here, click the plus icon, click upload file, click photos and videos, click recents or whatever photo you want to add. You want to go to that album. Then you can select all of the photos you want to add. You can add as many as you want. Click upload and it will then upload those photos to Google Drive. Now we can go ahead and then access them on Google Drive on the computer. So let me show you that. So once you're on your computer, go ahead and open up a web browser. Go to Google and just type in Drive. Then you'll see the Google Drive sign in. So go ahead and click on that. Now, if you're already signed into your Google account, it will take you straight into Drive. From here, you can go ahead and find that Photos folder. So here is mine. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, here are all of the photos that we uploaded from our phone. Now, if we want to download all of these, we can just right click on the whole photos folder. We can click download. That should then start the download of these photos once they are zipped up here. So you can see the download has started. We can then access those files and we can go ahead and drag these anywhere we want on our computer. So I hope that quick video did help you out.